Scrape your wood stove with a stick. It's Sanctuary of Reality, my comic review series. Time now for Cerebus issue 227, the eighth chapter of Rick's story. Cerebus drinks and ponders all of Tarim's commandments that he's violated over the years, such as thou shalt not kill. He's mentally slowly slipping back into the black pit as he tries to refuse having another scotch, since he's already doomed to oblivion and figures that he can just compound that. Cerebus again thinks about leaving, but is concerned that Rick and Joanne's date won't go well thanks to the advice Cerebus has given him concerning women. Suddenly, Rick returns and gets a stout. Seems that despite the implication of it being a date, Joanne was already sitting with a guy she knows. Rick felt like a third wheel and departed early. Cerebus chastises him since now she'll think Rick was jealous of the other guy. Rick came back to ask Cerebus a question concerning the adage of seek and ye shall find in relation to being told this to an unwise ruler. Suddenly, Joanne shows up demanding to know why Rick left. Rick, saying everything happily and musically as Cerebus has suggested, is amazed to see Cerebus was spot on about her jealousy. Cerebus slinks away to go clean the wood stove to give them some time alone while keeping within an earshot. Rick wants to have another chance at a date with Joanne somewhere where she doesn't have friends, but she declares that she has friends everywhere. Rick instead offers that they go for a walk to get to know one another better. Cerebus is surprised that she agrees to it and the two depart. Cerebus gets drunk, complains mentally for a bit, then heads upstairs and goes to sleep. Suddenly, a misty mass of scorpions, vipers, and tentacles emerges onto the scene of his bedroom, and within it is Siren herself. She raises a sword high overhead and prepares to decapitate the slumbering aardvark. What can possibly save Cerebus now? This is actually the final showdown between Siren and Cerebus, and Cerebus isn't even conscious for it. It won't be the last time we hear about her exploits, though, but they'll never be in the same room again, and that's a little bit of a disappointment, though you really can't top their throne room battle from Reed's. Uh, so why even bother trying? This is yet another damn fine issue, to be honest. I love that the recurring joke of Toby the Magician comes up again. Choosing to show Rick and Joanne's conversation from Cerebus's point of view works brilliantly. It maximizes the, the humor potential greatly. Uh, instead of just having the two standing there talking to each other, as most comics normally would, it instead shows everything from Cerebus's listening. So it, it works great, and his expressions are, are great too. Next time... Rick puts Cerebus in a bind. <laughs>